Hey guys, we are going to look at Tuesday's Spower Review. Our first question is um, 208 is the same as, so this we have eight ones, we have zero tens, and we have two hundreds. We are going to count forward by tens, starting with 22. Our next number would be 32. And then 10 more is 42 and 52. Remember, we leave our ones the same when we're counting forward by tens. Write the number 874 in word form. So if we wrote this one in word form, write the word 8. Hundred and then seventy four. All right, order these numbers from greatest to least. So let's look at our hundreds place. So we have a 500, 400, and another 500. So we need to go look at these two and go to our tens because both of these would go, one of these would go first. So this one we have five tens, and this one we have four tens. So this one would be the greatest. This one would be the next, and this one would be the least. All right, solving these addition problems, 2 plus 8 is 10, 9 plus 9 is 18, 5 plus 6 is 11, 3 plus 9 is 12, 5 plus 4 is 9, and 7 plus 8 is 15. All right, use a strategy to find the difference of 71 and 28. So this one we would have to regroup. So we're going to add a number so that we do not have to regroup. So we're going to add a 2 to make this a 30. And remember, we have to add it at the top also. So 71 plus 2 is 73. And 28 plus 2 is 30. So we would subtract and get 43. So the difference between 71 and 28 is 43. All right, there are 23 wor worms in a mud puddle. After it rained, only 8 worms are left. How many worms were washed away? So we started with 23, and we ended with 8. So we're going to subtract to see how many were washed away. 23 minus 8 is 15. So 15 worms were washed away. Write the time using AM or PM. So our hour hand is on the 4. Our minute hand is on the 1, which would be 5, so it would be 405, and our we are doing homework, so you would be doing homework at 405 p.m. That would be in the afternoon. And our last question says, list three items from your house that you would use a ruler to measure. So a ruler is 12 inches long. I'm going to show you guys what that would look like. This is... A ruler that's 12 inches long. So anything the length of a piece of paper or shorter would be something that you could measure a ruler with. So you could measure your pencil with a ruler. Um, you could measure some books with a ruler. 
anything that's the length of a paper piece of paper or shorter are things items that you can measure with a ruler.